I always believe that if you find a community where the arts are flourishing, you also find the community flourishing. Welcome to the Executive Ball for the Arts. It's our 30th Executive Ball. The Executive Ball was a great idea Betty Mae Kramer came up with. It has been a great idea that every first lady and executive have followed since then. And Catherine and Ike Leggett, who have been here some while now, have given it everything anybody ever did and more. This is the night to celebrate, to network, to raise money for all of the nonprofits that do so much for our community, for every facet of our community, economic development, elders, young people. It is a glorious night of celebration and fundraising. We're particularly blessed in Montgomery County because we've always had really good support from the county executive and his wife of course has been amazingly supportive and really not just supportive she's been in a leadership role so she has been leading advocacy for the arts for many many years and we're just so very grateful to her and to Ike and to Dr. Fitzgerald who is co-chair of the executive board. The arts bring grace and beauty to our lives. They're also very important to economic development you know it's an important recruitment tools when employers talk about the fact that we've got Strathmore Hall we've got the Fillmore we've got the AFI we've got uh, many companies providing live performance it brings vitality to the community it also brings businesses uh, to the community because they want to be part of a community that's prospering and growing and rich with the arts the arts represent the soul of the community the arts represent the joy of the community and the arts are part of the fabric of what makes this a delight delightful, enjoyable place to live. The arts in America, for the most part, are non-profit. There's a commercial side that we know about, but in a community, they're non-profit, which means they live on earned income, tickets, and they live on contributed income, gifts, donations, and people like tonight. These are the people who give it, give their money not to get back a specific thing, but to know that their community is richer overall, that their kids have a little bit more jump in their step, they have a glint in their eye because they were in an arts program. It's just a wonderful opportunity for all the arts organizations to come together with the community supporters of the arts. It's just something that we're proud of and the Arts and Humanities Council does a tremendous job of promoting the overall enterprise and once a year we get together at this event event and, and celebrate. Betty Mae Kramer, Sid Kramer, it was Betty Mae's idea, but Sid took credit for it. It was the first large countywide event to actually celebrate all of the arts and to say that of all the threads in the fabric of our community, one of those threads is arts. And you can't just rip it out and live with the rest. You gotta keep everybody up and going. 30 years later, this is one of the richest counties in the arts, and I mean rich in terms of the wealth of the soul, not of the pocketbook, because of the amount and quality and quantity of artists in dance, theater, music, you name it, visual arts. And tonight, a lot of those people are right in this ballroom.